I'm Terry Brennan with Raycom Communications, and we're showcasing the ultimate interoperability vehicle. Here we're showing the Harris Unity Mobile Radio with the touchscreen. So not only will this do VHF, UHF, 700 and 800 megahertz, it'll also do P25 conventional and trunking. The touchscreen also enables us to control things like our lights and sirens from within the vehicle. Built into the touchscreen, we have GPS as well as messaging and controlling our PA. Here we have a 7 and 800 megahertz radio that not only does P25 trunking, but also EDAX trunking, providing a great migration path for current EDAX users today. This is a Bluetooth wireless mic that is connected to the mobile radio. So if I am outside my vehicle in an area where I would not be able to have portable coverage, I can use my mobile and still be tethered from the vehicle. A big interest in the show is a dedicated public safety LTE network. Here we're bringing in LTE into the vehicle via diversity antennas through this LTE modem. The modem also provides a Wi-Fi hotspot in and around the vehicle, enabling the use of all mobile devices. The data network now supports a host of devices that can be used for public safety and situational awareness. We're showing video from multiple cameras to and from the car streaming live so officers aren't alone when they're out on a traffic stop. Here we have a couple body cameras that can be used to show a first person perspective, whether it's a firefighter going into a building or a police officer interviewing a suspect or witness. These sunglasses are also a video camera, so I can take a snapshot photo or a video of the scene, the person I'm interviewing, or the people at the scene that might be potential witnesses or suspects. These are the types of devices and applications that are going to explode on the market as new capabilities are available for public safety.